everybody, Walkie Puppy here bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. Let's pick up Iridium for the day. Uh, we got seven Iridium. Oh, that's really good from this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and start the day off like we always do by checking the weather report. Well, because you've, uh, if you're a number one source for weather news and entertainment and now uh, the weather forecast for tomorrow, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and check in at the fortune teller as well. Welcome to Wendell Oracle, the only show with the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are very happy today. They will do the best to show everyone with good fortune. That's fantastic news. Maybe we'll go mining today. We'll see. Um, let's check in, uh, watch our Living Off the Land rerun as well. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Woes from crows? Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Place a scarecrow on your farm deters crows from a pretty good distance. <laughs> Make sure you protect your valuable crops. One more thing. Need a bigger backpack to hold all your stuff? Check out your local general store. Alrighty. Uh, say hello to Abigail. I always loved this place long before you moved in. Now I can explore the farm whenever I want. That is so true. Uh, let's say hello to Baby Sue. Hello, little Baby Sue. Uh, there's little baby Tyrone up there. Hello, little baby Tyrone. Uh, there we go. I can't wait till the kids are all grown up. It's gonna be so cool. Uh, I would like to check the calendar, but Abigail has decided to be here. Can I get by? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so two days till the Egg Festival. Uh, I gotta break past Abigail again. Um, quite annoying. So, in a couple days, we can actually get as many strawberry seeds as our heart desires, which would be great. Uh, let's go ahead and head down here and say hello to all of our, all of our, all of our animal friends. All right. Oh, -dope -dope. oh man, our inventory is so full. What happened? <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. I hope we have enough room to get all the stuff we need to get. I do. I don't really know if we will or not. Um, yeah, that could be problematic. All right, hello, 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 hello. Let me get all these darn truffles that you guys keep digging up. Glorious, glorious darn truffles. Uh, we're hitting almost everybody, it seems. I'm surprisingly efficiently hitting everybody. <laughs> oh, did we? Uh, I don't think we watered the. Um, I don't think we watered the star fruit, did we? I think we skipped that completely. Did I? Did I say hi to you? I can't remember. I did. Okay, cool. Mr. Jomo. Uh, okay, there's not very many eggs, which is good. That means we probably won't have an issue with inventory, is what I'm thinking. Hopefully. Let's see. We have... Oh, yeah, we have two slots left. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. No worries. No worries, anybody. Uh, let's head over. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I keep tapping the microphone. Sorry if that sounds horrible. Uh, the only thing we really need to worry about now is... I really don't know what. I had something in my head and I don't remember what it is. Oh, we had three different milks. Okay, but we have lots of room in our inventory. We're totally fine. I don't have to worry about none of this. None of it's a concern. Um, let's go ahead and do the machine shop real quick and see, do we have any coal? I don't think we have any coal on us. No, we don't. Okay, so I can't smelt anything, which is which is fine. Um, we can go ahead and do this. Beautiful. Very nice. Let me grab these guys. Um, boom, just like that. Uh, there we go. Okay, um, we're making a lot of good progress with this. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Excellent! I'm very happy with that. Um, now I'm gonna keep the potatoes. Keep the potatoes! Oh no, no, you're not a potato! Get out of there, flower! Get out of there, little flower! You're no potato! <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep these potatoes just to start building up a little bit of a crop inventory of everything. Just so that we have the stuff that we may potentially need in the future. That's the thought process. I think I should put uh, mushrooms in here. Yeah, we already have a bunch of morals, but we might as well keep, keep a little bit more. They're not even worth selling, so. Yeah, might as well keep them. That's my thought process right now, anyway. Uh, and then the foragey forage chest, we can put this little bit of mud we've got and the hardwood that we've got. We're almost over 100 hardwood again, which is great, because we used a lot of hardwood, and we have been low for quite a little while. Uh, let me go ahead and put my axe down here, and let's look and see if we have any um, minerals that need to be smelted while we're at it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the treasure chest in with decoration somewhere. I think I have like miscellaneous tabletop stuff. I don't. Okay. 
Um, okay, here's where I'm putting the trophy fish. Where are the other things that I'm thinking about displaying? So I'll go ahead and put that in there with that. Um, I'm not going to sell it because it's the only one I get. I don't want to sell it. I want to put it on display. <laughs> um, but it is worth quite a bit of money. So maybe we'll change our minds at some point. You never know with me. You just never know with this one here. Put seeds in there. Oh, we actually have, we already had some in there. So that's interesting. Uh, so, so far so good. I'm going to go ahead and pop a coffee. Try to speed myself up a little bit. I should probably pop our heads into the greenhouse as well because we haven't looked in there in quite a while. Sell all this stuff. Beautiful. And jump on our... Oh, I can't go mining. I don't have my pickaxe. Oh, I think we gave it to Clint yesterday too. Oh, and it would be such a good day to go mining. What a disappointment. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, it'll be fine. Oh, we've got ancient fruit though. So we don't even have time to worry about this. No time at all. Let's go ahead and pick all this ancient fruit. Uh, I'm actually probably going to get a cut ahead in the video uh, just because this can get a little bit boring. But we'll get all the tree fruit and all the ancient fruit. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, and I am back. We're just getting the last of these tree fruits right here. We got a whole big old crop of ancient fruit. And like I said last time, I think I'm just gonna keep all of these ancient fruits and start building up a um, an inventory. Because we're eventually gonna get to the point where um, we have more kegs than we have fruit being produced. And I wanna have a little bit of a buffer built up so that we can work through that. And eventually we're going to have to do things like pumpkins or some other things, but um, I'm going to hold off on that for as long as possible and use our highest quality ancient fruit and star fruit for as long as I can. And we'll get a big influx of star fruit in the summer. So that'll also help with that a ton. And hopefully we can get like two batches, which would be even better of those star fruit as well. Um, so what else are we going to do today? We can't really... Hmm. Oh, we got our first tree. We should make a tapper. Let's make a tapper for it. Yes. Oh, actually, should I wait for them all? No, I shouldn't wait for them all. I'll just, um, if I want to sink them up, I'll just tear them all down and put them all back up. But I should go ahead and start producing some honey. Not honey. Maple syrup. So I need you, and I think I need wood. And I hope that's it. Tappers, please. Tappers for dates. Yes. Yeah, so two copper bars and four tea wood. So they are actually a little bit expensive, but that is okay, because we need them. Look, everybody, I got a tapper. I'll jump on my horse, my tapper. Arg with my eye patch. Arr. Okay, let's go down here and put you on there. Yeah. Now, another thing I'm thinking about doing is doing more trees down here, but I'm not really sure about that quite yet. I may also just do like a path coming up this way, but I kind of like the grass that you look to. I'm just so unsure. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out eventually. Um, for right now, I like the way this is coming along and like the way it's looking, but I don't have a solid plan for the rest of the farm quite yet. So if you have any suggestions, please leave those down below for me. Um, I'll definitely be reading them and replying to them because I need good ideas. I don't have any good ideas. I am thinking about doing crab pots or in the middle of this thing and maybe over here in this thing too. But they look a little junky, so I'm not totally sure I want to do that. Oh, look! Oh, I think we're getting the last mystery item! Hiya, Mr. Wonky Puppy! Oh, <laughs> Look at these dancing onion! <laughs> Sp spoing onion! Mom sends me out to pick these sometimes! They're too spicy for me! Oh, poor little girl. You're really nice for a grown-up, so I'm going to show you a secret. Hmm. Well, that's freaky looking. When you see it like this, this, it looks good, right? But if you peel it a little bit... It's full of bugs! Cool, huh? Um, what do you do with the bugs, Vincent? 
Usually I just squash him. <gasps> That's horrible. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mr. Walkie Puppy, please put the bugs back in the grass so they can live in peace. <laughs> you learn how to clean the spring onion without harming any bugs. <laughs> spring onions are now worth 5x the gold. Hooray! So I have no idea what triggers that, but what we got is this down here. Oh, I can't even get over to it. But the little thing that has a little dust next to the spring onion, which means we have the last wallet item. We now have all wallet items. We have the Dwarven Translation Guide, the Rusty Key, the Club Card, the Special Charm, the Magnifying Glass, the, the Skull Cavern Key, the, the Dark Talisman, the Magic Ink, the bear paw thing for the berries and the spring onion things for all the things. So that means this whole menu here is totally maxed out. Our skills menu, totally maxed out. We know everything about everything about everything about everything. <laughs> um, we're making a ton of progress. Let me tell you what. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go down here and chop some wood if we can. <laughs> um, yeah, let's look like there's a couple of trees available for us. Let's go ahead and chop this down. Oh, we got a pine cone from the squirrel jumping into the tree and we just, Destroyed its home too, so that's fine. <laughs> uh, let's drink a little bit of coffee while we're at it. Glug, 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 indeed, sir. Uh, looks like there's another tree right here that we can chop down. We want to leave the ones that are still growing so that we can uh, get more wood later, pretty much. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this stuff out too, because we we saw firsthand how much of a problem it can become. Uh, we don't have our pickaxe, so we can't actually take care of this other part, but. Uh, we can get rid of the wood on the ground, which will at least help a little bit and stop the spread. Man, this axe is amazing! I love it so much! We're getting so much stuff and it's just so fast. It's amazing. I think once our pickaxe is done, the only tool we have left to upgrade is our watering can, which is awesome. Then like, we'll have all of our tools upgraded. Is this not a... Okay, it is. I was like, why can't I do this? I think it might be kind of fun to go and pick all the salmon berries too, now that we're totally maxed out in skills and we've got the um, the berries are worth like five, three times as much or something like that. So now like compared to where we were initially, like we got one berry per bush and they were worth, you know, a little bit of money. Now we're getting three times the amount of berries and we're getting three times the value per berry. So it's like nine times as profitable as when you first start out in the game, which is kind of crazy the way that they have that set up. Crazy in a good way, like crazy beneficial. <laughs> Come on, cha cha chop, cha cha chop, chop the wood down. Okay, right, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Um, I'm, we don't need to talk to the wizard for any reason. It's like, is there any reason to stop in and talk to him? And I really don't think there is. Um, the only thing we want from him are to spawn buildings at this point, and we're just not ready to do any of that. I should think about if I, if A, if I want to get obelisks, and if I do, where I want to put them. It'd be cool to have a little warpy area somewhere where we can, we can have them set up. Maybe that's what I'll put in the little walkway in front of the, um, the mushroom cave. That might look kind of cool. Set up like a little, um, little beachy area and a little foresty area. Be kind of cool. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie doodles. Did not mean to do that. Just walked up to that tree and that little baby tree and I just murdered it. Straight up murdered the little baby tree. It's real sad. Real sad. Okay, we're just gonna keep chopping for now because we can't get our pickaxe back. Oh, I want my pickaxe so bad today. We ruined a perfectly good good luck day. Uh, let's go ahead and get this dude. Oops. <laughs> let's actually get him. Like a so. Alright, Scrooge up here. Uh, let's get this guy. Oh, that's the hoe. Silly, silly me. Alright, so we're actually not getting. We're not doing too bad on wood. We had like 750 when we started today, and we're up to 950 ish. And we spent 40 on that tapper. So overall, like, not too shabby. I mean, we definitely don't have all the trees ready. Well, that's okay. We can go ahead and get these and start start the process of them regrowing. Uh, there's no spring onions at all, which is interesting because we had that cutscene today. Run, 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 run. Not that I don't think that that cutscene has anything to do with actual spring onion production, but 
It just would have been cool if they had made sure there was at least one or two. So you can go and apply your skill right then and there. For getting rid of the bugs. There we go. Look at this. Lots of wood. Man, we filled up a whole 999 stack again, which makes it making me feel better. Making me feel a lot better about our wood supply. We're getting like 19-ish wood from each tree, which is pretty cool. I feel like it's up. Oh, there is one spring onion. Look at that. He was just hiding. Silly spring onion. Now, are those iridium quality too now? Oh, they are. Excellent. Man, when you stack these like foraging buffs on top of um, like the things become more valuable wallet items, you could potentially make a lot of money from foraging in the end game. Like if you were really diligent about it. If they have it set up that way. I mean, it's not going to be like the same amount from like iridium wine or anything like that, but um, like it's decent. Like it, you could probably make up, you know, they have like that somewhat passive income from just the keeping the animals up and doing the machines every day. It'd probably be about that much is what I'm thinking. Wow, look at all those truffles. What an amazing haul. <laughs> I should get these out of the way. <laughs> Uh, and I'm wondering if I should close up the coop and let the grass regrow a little bit. Uh, I saw some really cool farms on um, on Reddit earlier this week of like rotating grassy areas. Uh, I don't know that I have the layout for that right now. I, I, I could move this guy over a little bit. I can move that guy over there o up and over a little bit. I could probably set it up somewhat. But I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I'll have to give it a try. Um, maybe at some point. We'll see. But uh, the idea is like you have two or three separate grazing areas, right? And you keep them separately gated. And you have one one area up top where you let all the animals out. And then you have another, like you have grassy areas that are separately gated. You only open the gates when the grass is healthy. And you only open one gate at a time so that one area has no animals and has the ability to... Um, regrow its grass without getting eaten. <laughs> so it's actually not a bad idea. Um, we'll have to think about it and see if I want to do that or not. Uh, I don't really know yet. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, here, did I, I already did all this. Yeah, I did. I don't know what I'm doing in here. Don't know at all. All right, no more, no more tappers. That's a little sad, but we'll be okay. Um, I think I had some stuff for here. I did not. I had some stuff for here. That's right. So we had pine cones and we had sap and we had maple seeds and wood and more wood and acorns. And, oh, I do have, um, I do have copper. Oh, I have a stone as well. We have so much stone. I'm not gonna get rid of it because there's no reason, there's no reason to get rid of it. We have plenty of chests, that's for sure. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Copper goes in here, and then I should be done. Is there anything else that needs to be smelted? I don't want to just smelt things unnecessarily because I am low on coal. But um, looks like all of our iron and all of our copper ore is smelted. So that's really the stuff that's really driving our ability to, to build stuff and make stuff. So um, that's really what I'm most concerned about. Uh, oh, we did not water these, did we? <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. Forgot to go back and do this. Hopefully this still counts. I don't, I mean, it's like the animals. Like if you don't do it by a certain time, it doesn't really count. They start still mad at you the next day. But uh, this is becoming watered. So I think I should be good. Hopefully, hopefully. I don't really know for sure. Hey buddy, how's it going, Julie? All right, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Yes, let's go to sleep for the night. I was just doing a quick time check to see if I wanted to do another day. And I definitely do. We have plenty of time. So we shall do it. Yes, we shall. I wonder how much we got for gold. It's not going to be a ton. All right, and one iridium quality spring onion is only worth 80, 80 G. So that's not fantastic. That's probably not that great. Uh, but berries are probably a lot more profitable is what I'm thinking because you get a lot more of them. Um, yeah, we got our normal amounts for everything else. Total of 15,000, 14,637 gold to be exact. Uh, not bad, not great for that like passive income. It's It's not so bad. Not so bad at all. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna go get our pickaxe, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, are these ready? Oh, and now I know what we're doing. And uh, now I know what we're doing. We are going to go and get our last Junimo hut today. That is what we are gonna do. 
That is for sure. What a great day. Uh, let's get this iridium as well. Oh, just two. That's not, maybe it's not such a great day after all. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and check the weather report like we always do. Welcome to Z5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Egg Festival. The event will take place in Pelican Town starting between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late. You got it, sir. Uh, let's check in the fortune teller as well. Aha, uh -huh, yes, I hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits feel neutral today. The day will be in your hands. Very well, as you say, lady. All right, tomorrow is the Egg Festival. Nothing is today. Let's say hello to Abigail. Hey, the Egg Festival is tomorrow. I'm sorry, but I won't go easy on you because we're married. That's fine. I plan on winning that egg hunt. Go ahead and try to beat me. I beat you every year, sweetie. Mwah. Love you. <laughs> uh, let's uh, say hello to little baby Tyrone. Hello, little baby Tyrone. Mwah. Say hello to little baby Sue. Hello, little baby Sue. Mwah. Uh, let's, how are we doing in our relationship with little baby Sue? I wonder. We haven't checked in quite a while. Uh, still pretty far down, but everybody else is so high up that, you know. Uh, four hearts, not great, but we're making progress. Which is really all we can do. Um, we got more mail. Uh, dear Wonky Puppy, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in Town Square. In the Town Square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. Meow Lewis. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Um, Okie dokie. So let's go. Hello, 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 hello. Vitabu. Hmm. I just thought of something, and I'm wondering if it is still gonna let me build the Junimo hut, even though I don't have exactly nine of any type of. Starfruit. Like, no stack of starfruit is exactly nine. That could be problematic, potentially, but now we'll find out. We definitely have more than nine, but we don't have nine of any single one kind. Which is maybe an issue? Maybe not? I don't know. I feel like I just missed a bunch of people, but I don't know. That's about as much attention as I can give them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Duck egg. Wool. Another duck egg. And... What else we got? We got a void egg, two more duck eggs, a brown egg, and a white egg, and a feather, which we're just gonna sell that feather straight up, because we don't really need it for nothing. Don't need it for nothing. Uh, let's go and water the blue jazz so we don't forget. And it looks like we have some honey ready, which is exciting. And let's see, did we get, we're not gonna get blue jazz honey from this side, are we? Nope, it's just wild honey. And now somebody told me that the, that it the wild honey thing doesn't work. This should be blue jazz honey. That's blue jazz honey. It doesn't work if there's a one in between if there's a beehive in between. I want to test that out. Okay, so no, that was wrong. This is still blue jazz honey, even though there's another um bee house in between it and the blue jazz. I didn't like I didn't think that that was right, but I wasn't gonna call people out either. Uh, I gotta be careful not to accidentally pick my blue jazz, because that would be Really annoying. Oh, I forgot to get that one while I was back there. That's annoying, too. Ooh, we got lots of blue jazz honey. I've got some upset cows, it sounds like, for some reason. <laughs> Making a lot of noise back there. Oh, we got some more trees! Oh, I'm very happy about that. Okay, let's water the rest of this blue jazz. Kind of disappointing that we, um, we missed getting these all grown up because of my haphazard watering abilities. <laughs> uh, but looks like most of our blue jazz has grown up now. So this guy is, um, these little, this little row over here is the only ones that don't have it at this point. All right, another maple tree. So we need, uh, we need one more tapper to make. Yep, yep, yep. Now I don't remember exactly where the Junimo hut's supposed to go, but I think it's like right in between these guys. Yeah, cause that one's right in between. And this one is, I think a little bit above. Yeah, so I think it's just like a little bit below. If I remember correctly, like it's gotta be like right here, right? Cause this isn't at four by two. Yeah, no, it does fit in between sprinklers. Okay, so it's a three by two. Um, let me just measure how many squares is between these guys real quick. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Okay, and hopefully I didn't do something really silly with the uh, strawberries. I don't think I did, but we'll see. Ooh, I might be able to do this. I don't know if I can do it without the pickaxe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, this is exactly where I was thinking of putting it, so that's cool. Two, three, four. Oh no, I did too many. <laughs> One, two, three. And how many tall was it? Is it two or three? It is two tall. Okay, cool. So that's the right space. Um, I think I need a pickaxe, though, in order to turn this into non-tilled land. So we're going to have to go get our pickaxe anyway. No worries. We were going to do that as it stood. Uh, what else do we need in order to make the last genomo? I think we need wood, mud, and fiber, maybe? Let's just take it all, just in case. Maybe not. Maybe we don't need mud. I'm not totally sure, but let's just take it all. I think we need 100 fiber and a bunch of star fruit. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and head over. This should be a lot of fun, I hope. I hope. We'll see! Alright, take me to town, Mr. Trolley. Oh. Uh, town please, yes. I need to see Clint about a pickaxe. He's not here! Where is he? Oh no! Oh goodness. That's so annoying. Where is he? Oh, I bet he's in the darn community center. Oh, I need my pickaxe! Come on, Ben! Come on. Ugh. Alright, let's go back and see if we can hunt him down. Alright, I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you, Clint. Let's go. We're going. We're gonna go. <laughs> Come on, dude. Where are you? It's Friday. Get back to work. <laughs> uh, let's see. It'd be awesome if he gave me my pickaxe soon if I tracked him down. He is down here. You silly man. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year round. I don't care. <laughs> Depressing, huh? Come on. Go home. Go home. Oh, look, coal. Can I get this coal? I want the coal. <laughs> Give me the coal. Oh, come on, Clint. Go home. Go home, Clint. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get it tomorrow because tomorrow is the festival, too. Ooh, game. How you do this to me? <laughs> I guess I should just not have planted things there, but I didn't think it was going to be a problem. I honestly didn't. So annoying. Oh, so annoying. All right, well, what do I want to do? I really don't know. Uh. Hmm. Oh, uh, so I still need to deal with my machine stuff. So maybe we should do that initially, huh? That sounds like a good idea. Come here. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, so let's make some iridium quality truffle oil really quickly. And then, did we check the backwoods yet for any artifact spots? It'd be kind of crazy if we got those. Real crazy. Uh, oh, we got honey. Oh, we have so many things. Wait, so... Wait, no, I did. I had to have. Oh, and I didn't get the milk. <laughs> I never got the milk out of the barn. Oh, man, I am just... I'm a mess today. What's going on with me? I don't have any of my stuff in order. Let's go. Move, 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 move. We got, we got stuff to do. Everyone needs to move out of the way. Move, 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 move. All right, there we go. 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 Okay. Uh, we got one of you left, and none of that other stuff matters at all. I am super annoyed that I can't get that Junimo hut today. I wonder, should I just go and try? Let's see, blue jazz honey, go. That goes. This goes. All this stuff goes. Did I just forget to make the mayonnaise, maybe? Like, why do they have so much cheese in my inventory? I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's go make some, some cheese real quick. And then, yeah, I'm just going to go, and I'm just going to see if it'll let me put the... Uh, 
I'm gonna see if it'll let me put the the hut, Junimo hut, on top of tilled land. Hey, buddy. I already got you. Okay, you're just hanging out in here like a weirdo, being a loner. See ya. Just like me in real life. <laughs> um. Oh, that made me sad a little bit, but it's true. Let's uh, let's make some cheese. Boom, just like that. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the wizard. I'm just gonna go anyway. I was gonna try it. <laughs> so I'd feel like a silly fool if uh, everything is fine. And I'm just like, no, I can't do it. For no reason. Here we go. Oh, and we can get some more wood on the way too. That's not bad at all. I love that I can chop the uh, I can chop the stump out before the tree even falls. That makes me laugh. Makes me laugh a lot. Hearty laugh. <laughs> hey bud, do you have anything interesting? You really don't. Okay, I could do a rare. Oh, maybe that's what I'll put. Yeah. Do you have any more rare seeds? No, maybe that's what I'll put in that little area that I was talking about making into a, a little garden. That might be nice. You never know. Could be. <laughs> uh, all right, let's try this out real quick. Let's try it out. Hey, buddy. Uh, okay. Oh, I need stone! Not wood. Oh, I'm being so silly. So silly. Why do this to me? All right. Um, other thing I should probably do is go see Krovis and buy some more iridium sprinklers since it's Friday. And I am going to set up a couple other little areas. I could also just see if there's anywhere that I could put... The iridium sprinklers that won't block the path, but will still water the blue jazz. Um, that's not a terrible idea. <laughs> um, I could also just like temporarily put them in and then pick them back up just until the crops are grown, but that would be a little annoying too. So I don't know. I'll play with it a little bit, but I should buy like maybe, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe six. Six-ish. Sounds about right. Let's just see what he's got going on today. Says nothing. All right, sprinkler, 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 and sprinkler. Oh, let's do six. That'll be fine. Now we can buy the return scepter. We can technically afford it, but I'm gonna wait a little bit and buy a little bit later. That's like gonna be one of my final things I want to do. One of my final buy things. That. The gold clock and the obelisks. They're going to be so amazing once I get them done. All right, let's go pick up some more stone and see if we can't get this Junimo hut. I really don't think I'm going to be able to. I'm probably just wasting a whole bunch of time, but I have to try. I have to try. Um, excuse me, everybody. You're in my way. Pardon, 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 pardon. Uh, where am I going now? Let's go in here. Yeah, to put some stuff away. That's right. So why am I going in here? I can't not to remember. Uh, I don't have anything for you. Oh, yes, I do. I have iridium. Iridium ore. And then in this one, I have a whole bunch of stuff for you. I've got this, 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 this. I don't remember if I needed the mud or not, but I'm going to keep it just in case. It's like the 750 stone in case I mine up anything on my way. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I don't have pickaxe. Ugh. Back to this again. All right, let's just put these sprinklers in here for now, because I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to put this rear seat in here for now, because, again, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Oh, we already have one there. Cool. We'll just keep going with it. <laughs> uh, all right, you. Let's go. Oh, they, I did get the stone. I'm just being silly. Don't need wood. I remember I don't need wood. Oh, we need to make one more tapper still. Forgot about that. My bad. Let's get to scooting. And see if we can't get this knocked out super fast. We'll get our, our disappointment in. We'll get it in quick. We'll get it in good. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, then what do we want to do? Probably just make that tapper and get it on and go to bed, right? Because that's going to take a while, I think. Don't eat the duck eggy, heathen. What's wrong with you? Alright, build. Okay... It will actually let me do it. It actually did let me stack these things, which is cool. 
All right, but see, it won't let me put it down. Oh no. Okay, so what we'll do is because we have all this garbage in our inventory, we'll just go ahead and build it right here like that. So we have it and we can move it. And then we will go and um, move it later. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at what else he's got for us. Uh, the Earth Obelisk, that's one we definitely want to get as well. Well, warp us to the mountains. We can actually, we can afford it and we have the materials for it, I think, or we're pretty close to it. And then we need the Water Obelisk, which will, will warp us to the beach. So I have to think about decorations and how we do make it earthy and beachy in the area that we put it. Uh, and the gold clock, we cannot afford. It takes 10 million. So I think once we have our wine like completely mature, like our whole wine production system, we can get pretty close to this in a few turns of that. My thought. Um, but yeah, that'll that'll take a while. Okay. Really cool buildings, though. Cool buildings from this guy. And then the return scepter is 2 million from uh, Krobus. So in total, to do all of those things, we need... 10 million for the gold clock, 2 million for the return scepter, and 1 million each for the obelisks. I think one's 1 million, one's 500,000 maybe? We'll just assume they're both a million. Uh, which would be 14 million gold to buy everything. Um, and then there's some other more expensive things that I want to explore as well. I'm just going to pop down here. Oh, look! There's more, um, more onions. That's kind of nice. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. No need to spring onion, you heathen. Um, I was trying to see if there's any more trees, and there just, there isn't, so, oh, there's one more. See? That's all worthwhile in the end. All my craziness. That's all worth it. Sometimes. Usually not, though. Okay. So I guess I should just make that tapper. It's 10 o'clock. I don't really have time to do anything else. It would have been great to have had my pickaxe today. <laughs> Then I could have actually, you know, done something good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't. Did nothing good today. Big old failure. Uh, and the good news is we have a few starfruit left, so we can make those into wine at some point, too. Let's go ahead and put them in here for now. I am going to put them in here, even though they are already technically a spring fruit, because they're going to be part of my wine kit. Uh, so spring forgeables. Let's go ahead and put you guys in here. Just so we have a little bit on the backlog. On the backlog. Put you guys in here, you go in there, you go in there, you go in there, and the wood goes in there. Uh, now we do, oh no, wait, I thought I, this is not the right chest. I thought I was in the, oh, I thought I was in this one. Um, I'm just not even paying attention. And I look up and I'm like, what is this? All right, let's take this back out though. And we need to get two copper, one, two, and we need to make a tapper. Please, tap, tapper, please. Come on, I hate navigating this menu without a mouse. I really do. That's the single worst part of this game on console is navigating menus. Oh, I still got wood too. There we go, let's go put this tapper down. Get ourselves some tasty goodness. And it's getting late, so I'm gonna pop another coffee. Oh, pop it. Pop that coffee. Um, I haven't checked the Juno Huts in a day or two, I don't think. Maybe I should just check them, just to see how they're doing. And this one is another maple, which is fine. The oaks are taking a little bit longer to grow. Just fine. You got no potatoes? No potatoes. There's always a chance that the strawberries, oh, let's say there's always a chance that the strawberries bloomed and got picked before I even noticed, and that is exactly what happened. All right, so now, because tomorrow's the strawberry festival, we are gonna actually spend the rest of the day putting these in here and getting seeds back. Uh, so I'm gonna do this for a minute and I'll be right back. Okie dokie, and I'm back. And with that we got, oh wait, we got a total of 26 seeds, but these guys have to finish real quick. So let me let these guys finish real quick. And then I'll grab them, and then we'll head to bed, and hopefully we won't fall asleep on the farm. I'm going to pop another coffee, though, just to kind of stack the deck in my favor of getting to bed on time. Don't drink the coffee. Take the strawberry seed. Thank you. So we got a total of 31 strawberry seeds, which is actually not too shabby at all. Um, hopefully these potatoes get finished up pretty soon. I think they take like eight days. So we'll see kind of how that shakes out. Um, but... Yes, let's go to sleep for the night. 
But I want to turn almost the whole field into strawberries is what I'm thinking. I definitely want to bridge the gap between the top level strawberries and the bottom level, like the mid level strawberries that I have at a minimum, which I think is going to be like 500 strawberry seeds. It's going to be very expensive, but we can we can take it. It'll be fine. Uh, we got a total of 21,000 gold. Let's see how this went. So we got uh, ooh, only 6,700 gold from 24 blue jazz honey. So blue jazz honey isn't great. Now, fairy rose honey is fantastic. So hopefully we got our whole production set up in time for the fall so we can do that. Uh, wild honey is even worse, of course. Um, but we got a okay amount from our truffle oil and cheeses and mayonnaise and all that. A total of 21,000 gold isn't too bad for passive income. Not too bad at all. We got a diamond soul and a duck feather soul. A total of 22,076 gold. Not too shabby at all. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and wrap this, this episode up here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like below to let me know that. Don't forget to subscribe to show your support for the channel. If you have any feedback for me, leave that down below in the comment section. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video.